Hey, what's up? My name's Melinda. I'm a Sephora beauty director. And I feel like we can all agree that nail care is also self-care. I know I feel so much better when I take care of mine. So I'm gonna show you how I do my DIY nail manicure at home with a few really easy and quick steps and a little bit of nail art too with something that you might just even have laying next to you in your couch cushion. So let me show you, let's jump right in. Okay, so to start out with any manicure, usually you wanna file the nails a little bit and take down the length if you have some growth. I know for me, they're a little bit uneven, so I wanna make Make sure they're all looking the same length and nice and cohesive. So one of the primary things I like to think about when I'm filing my nails is I like to think about my nail as a basket weave. So if you think about a weave like that, if you're filing in a seesaw motion back and forth, you're gonna create some fray to the weave of your nail and it's gonna promote peeling and breakage. So what I like to do if I'm not taking off too much length is just keep the file in the same direction and that's gonna help it really stay smooth. And you won't need to buff as much at the end. So if I'm going around the nail, I'm staying this direction all the way over. And then if you're coming back this way, you can go the other direction. Just make sure you finish the nail on that same direction so you're not leaving that weave open. Okay, so now that we've given our nails a quick file, we're just going to soak our fingers in some water, some warm water. That's gonna soften the cuticle and make it a lot easier for us to clean up the nails. We're just gonna give it a few minutes in here. The water's really gonna soften the skin and make it easier for us to clean up the cuticles. So now that my cuticles have soaked, they're a little bit soft now, we're gonna make it even softer, make our cuticles even softer by using an oil. So this one from L'Occitane is the Shea Nail and Cuticle Oil. I love this brand, I've been using it for years. It always gets the job done and really adds the moisture that I need. I have really dry skin, so trust me. So let me show you what the component looks like. It's kind of cool. It has this brush tip, so you can just give the bottle a little bit of a squeeze and you'll see the oil come out the end and it makes it so easy just to coat your cuticle. I don't know about you all, but my anxiety and stress levels have been a little higher the last year or so than usual, and I tend to rip at my nails um, just as kind of a nervous habit. And so I really like to do this as part of my self-care at home to make sure that my cuticles don't become like painful, you know, by maintaining them, I'm more likely to not rip them. So it's really good for my mindset and kind of therapeutic just to go through this process and zone out. Now that we added the oil to the cuticle, same as the water, we're just gonna let it sit for a second so it really gets the job done before we go in with the tool. Okay, so now for the star of the show, I love this from Sephora Collection. It's the Tough As Nails Deluxe Manicure and Pedicure Kit. Has just about everything you need. So we're gonna start with this tool here. It's gonna be really fantastic for pushing the cuticle backs with this side, and then we can kind of scrape off what's left with this side. I'll show you how. All right, so to begin, we're gonna use this side. It has a little curve on the edge, and it kind of fits just perfectly up against your cuticle. So you're gonna use small circular motions, really small circular motions, while you kind of push your cuticle in. You'll notice it's a lot easier because you have that oil and because we soaked the cuticle in the water. They move pretty easily. You don't need to use a lot of force. You don't wanna rub on your nail too hard. And what's really cool about this side of the tool is that as you're making that circular motion, you're not only pushing the cuticle down, but you're also kind of scraping the cuticle off of the nail. That's gonna make it a lot smoother for your nail polish application. If you don't get it all by just using these small circular motions, you can take the other side of the tool and use the pointed side towards your cuticle and just lightly scrape along the edge. And that's gonna take off any cuticle that might be left. You can see I just got that to come off. So that's gonna help my nail polish look a lot smoother. So you can go ahead and just do that on the rest of the nails on both hands. So once you push in your cuticles and you're kind of done cleaning that area up, there's gonna be a little bit of debris left. Sometimes I can't get it all with that tool. So I like to take these cuticle nippers and just very carefully go around the edges and take off whatever I might have missed. 
So you're just gonna take the point and kind of lightly clip around the edge. I don't like to take off my cuticle. I leave that to the professionals if they really wanna dig in there. But when you're working at home, you can kind of use this just to clean up and take off anything that might be making it look a little bit messy. And in between, just I have a paper towel next to me and I'm kind of just wiping as I go. So you can just use this to kind of finish up, cleaning up, and then move on to the rest of the nails. So no manicure is complete without a little bit of polish. I always like to add a pop of color, and I'm also gonna show you a really quick and easy nail art trick, so let's jump in. So for polish today, we're gonna be using Sephora Collection, and this is the Color Hit Mini Nail Polish. I'm gonna use two colors because we're gonna do one all over and then one for a little bit of nail art, like I mentioned. The all over color is called Palm Leaf. And then for the nail art, we're gonna use this really vibrant kind of orangey red, which is called Chic Tropique. All right, so just to get started, I'm gonna give this a little bit of a shake. You'll see when you pull this top off, this cute little pod comes right off, and then you can just twist off the cap. All right, and I like to, when you pull out the brush, I like to just give it a little hit on the side of the bottle to make sure there's not too much there. It'll help avoid getting it all over your skin and making a mess. Starting with the index finger, the number one thing I want you to remember when you're painting your nails is to leave a little bit of room between where your cuticle ends and where your nail polish begins. What that does is it's gonna help to make the nail polish look a lot cleaner and it's not gonna get stuck on the skin of your cuticle. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more polish because it's getting dry here. And just start back from the bottom. So you'll notice I'm not pushing the brush all the way to the bottom of my nail. I'm creating a nice little line and then brushing it up. And once you brush it all the way to the tip, I just like to give it a little bit of love on the edge of the nail there. And we can really fix it up when we also go in with our second coat. All right, we're all human, so you're gonna make some mistakes. It's inevitable. I always make mistakes too. I'm no professional nail connoisseur. I just love to do my nails at home. So I'm gonna show you how you can touch up as you go if you do make a mistake. There's no big deal. I love to use just an angled brush. So this one from Sephora Collection is the brush number 22. So I'm just gonna take this angled brush, I'm gonna go over to my side here, just dip it in some of my nail polish remover. Um, you don't need much, just to coat the tip. And you'll see I got a tiny little speck there. That would be hard to get with like a cotton bud or a paper towel just because it's so small. So I take that angled brush and voila. So definitely think that this is a game changer for doing my nails at home. Just make sure you're using like an old brush and you're not using this on your eyes as well. So I'm just gonna give this hand a little bit of time to dry and we'll get our first layer on our second hand. So as you know, when you're using a color that's a little bit sheer or a little bit pastel leaning, it's always nice to get in a couple layers, even with your regular colors, two layers last longer and it's stronger. So I'm gonna go in with my second layer on both hands. All right, so we got our two coats done, as you can see. I want to do a little bit of nail art. It's super easy, it's not too hard. You can do it with something that you have sitting around at your house. And I think it's kind of cool, you might like it. So let's jump in. All right, so for the nail art, we're gonna be using the same nail polish from Sephora Collection, except this shade is Chic Tropique, and it's just like this really vibrant kind of orangey red that I think will be super pretty on top of this color. So to apply Chic Tropique, we're gonna use your regular hairpin. Hopefully you have one laying around at home. I feel like everyone has these in a couch cushion or something of a like. <laughs> and we're just gonna use the tips here as our tool. So you can just take the brush out of the jar, and it doesn't matter if you have a lot on the brush this time since we're not going direct on the nail, and you just wanna pop that on the top of your hairpin. Get a good coat on there so you know that you'll get a nice payoff when you go in to create your art. You don't have to be too shy. All right, so now that we have the tips of the pin coated, I'm just gonna take one side Starting from the bottom, and don't worry if this gets on your cuticle or on your skin because we can clean it up with the brush. It's more important that it looks like it starts from the bottom and is continuous. Now you don't have to do this perfect. Look, I just created like a little line within my line. So I can take the other side, turn the pin around, and use that to your advantage to finish out your squiggle. 
I'm definitely not going for straight lines or anything perfect. This is really supposed to be kind of artistic and squiggly looking. Once you get that line down, you can go in with all of your lines if you want and kind of finish off the nail and then go in and clean. But I'm just gonna show you how I clean this real quick. So you'll take the tip of the brush, I dipped it in my nail polish remover again, and just swipe the bottom. Having a little piece of paper towel or something next to you will help kind of clean up that brush. Now that I've cleaned it up a little bit, I just wanna go back in with my pin and kind of fix it. This is a really good example for me to show you all first because it's kind of what happens if it doesn't go exactly as you planned and you need to clean it up a little bit. So we got one squiggle down. Now I'm gonna go a lot more freehand with the rest. Um, so you can see how it's just kind of fun to create them and you don't have to overthink it. I feel like this squiggly nail art is really trending on social media right now and I've seen so much of it. And so much of what I love about it is just how imperfect the art is. Because that means that I can do it at home for fun and not have to worry about it looking perfect. put a little side squiggle there just to look like it's almost coming off the side. So now I'm just gonna do the other hand. So I'm gonna recoat a hairpin and like I said, pack it on. All right, so I'm having fun. This is totally how I arts and crafts at home. So I'm going to actually do a little bit more nail art. I'm gonna use the same pin. I'm just gonna show you how I use it to make polka dots even easier. So coating my pin again, the same way we did before. Again, don't be shy, um, especially with the dots. You can make it super easy. And I'm thinking I might just do my pinky a few dots here. And you can literally just dot, dot, wherever you see fit, be cute little polka dots. And I kind of love that it's a different design on a different finger. All right, so any manicure, you always want to finish with a moisturizer. Just like a skincare routine, you have to put moisture back in after grooming and trimming. And that's how you make your nails look nice, is keeping that skin nice and soft around them. One of my favorite moisturizers, I use this on my body, I use this on my hands, around my nails. This one's from Sol de Janeiro, and it's the Coco Cabana Cream. It smells delicious. It's very coconutty, so it's kind of like a burst of the beach when you put it on. It's invigorating. It's if you will. All right, so just dipping in a little bit of this with my spatula and I'm going to take it on my hand. And like you would apply any lotion, just lather it up. Don't be shy, you can really go for it and then take whatever you have left over up onto your arms. And that is it. Makes your nails look so much shinier and pretty when you do this. Seems like an obvious finishing step, but to me, it always sets it off and makes the difference. So that's it, super fun and easy in my opinion. I hope that you get to try this out. It's so fun to do on your own, maybe with your partner, with your friends. It's really unisex and anyone can play with nail polish and manicure their nails. So try it out, let me know what you think and if you have any further questions, drop them down below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss more videos from us like this and we'll see you next time, bye.